Hello, it's Crispy Chris 62 your gaming gentleman, member of the official We Game Here and association with extreme Xbox gamers. Now, in this video, we're talking about some of the Xbox news throughout the week. Now, first things first, I'm just going to clarify something. That, you know, the channel I created, and I want to thank every one of you people who are watching these videos, and I really appreciate about the support and the feedback you give uh, whether it be sharing, liking, commenting. Uh, I just really like it when, when you see a comment, really nice comment saying great video or and uh, interactivity. Uh, and then sometimes, you know, I miss out on these comments. Sometimes I don't get to see them. And, you know, but I just really want to thank that everyone who's watching uh, and everyone who's commenting. Now, let's get on to the Xbox news. Now, first up, um, a game, a game that we're all very excited for, Fallout 4, is now available to pre-order on the Xbox One. Now, this is very exciting. We're very excited about this game, as you can now pre-order this on the Xbox One, as we saw in E3 2015, and that will be possible with backwards compatibility. Now, it will make sense if they announce it very soon and that Fallout 3 is backwards compatible uh, because that will make sense if you play Fallout 3 and then when Fallout 4 comes out uh, but whatever the case it's going to be great anyways uh, so next bit of news is of course uh, Gamescom now this is very exciting because Xbox uh, the head of Xbox Phil Spencer really wanted Gamescom to be like just like an E3 to have as much of the presence as, as they had at E3 uh, so much so that their their competitors won't be attending Gamescom and will be attending another conference in Paris so uh, Microsoft really do have their sights for Gamescom and now Gamescom is happening in sometime in August uh, and on Xbox Wire, I'll link it in down below, they are showing that they're saying that they're going to be showing um, Quantum Break. We're going to see some Quantum Break gameplay. We're going to see Crackdown, maybe some gameplay from there. We're going to see what that studio is doing. And we're also going to see Scalebound. Now, this is very exciting. And we're also going to see some uh, what we've already announced. We're going to see some Forza. Uh, six gameplay demos. We're going to see more Halo 5 Warzone multiplayer, maybe a little bit more of the campaign. We're going to see a little bit more about the Gears of War because that comes out at the same time. We're also going to see a bit of Rare Replay uh, and so much more. Now, the three exclusives that are really the main focus of the games come Quantum Break. Scalebound and Crackdown. Now, these are the three that we're very interested to see what's going on. Now, I'm very interested to see, you know, Scalebound when they showed off the concept. It looked very nice concept, and it'd be really nice to see, like, what what they're going for on this one. Are they going for an RPG? Are they going for something else? What? And so it'd be very interesting. I'm very looking forward to it. And I really like how Phil Spencer is going to be treating this as another E3. So we can very look forward to uh, and the moment. So don't worry, because if we can't fl uh, fly over to Gamescom, uh, we can always watch it on the events on the Xbox One or on the 360 or on the PC, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Twitch. So you can see it everywhere uh, so you won't miss out. Now, this is very exciting as always with, very, you know, Microsoft have got their games covered. They, before they did E3, they said to people that, you know, games uh, Crackdown, Quantum Break, Scale Brown won't have an appearance, but have an appearance later on. I think maybe because they're big exclusives on their own, they need a big showing and uh, they had so much uh, things to show off at E3. I didn't think there'll be any room to include those so yeah i'm really excited about this and i cannot wait till august next bit of news is that xbox may need to do a little bit better in europe now those were the words by phil spencer himself and that they need to try their best to go into the europe market because um, recently we had some sales figures from xbox and playstation and it showed that playstation did have the upper hand in the european market and also the Asian market as well. Uh, Xbox is really big in North America, uh, but I think I think they know you just got to keep trying. 
and see if they can bring it to Europe and to get Asia. They've been trying it a long time and recently, I think it was a couple of months ago actually, uh, they tried to do a partnership with China because China uh, didn't allow any consoles and the first console uh, there was the Xbox and that was a pretty smart move for Microsoft and Xbox to do that. And I think we can see more and more of those as type of deals from happening. Uh, so yeah i just think you know it's nice that they're trying to target in the europe market and the asian market even though it is quite hard at the moment uh, when you consider with the playstation and the competitors at uh, nintendo and, uh, and all of that uh, but yeah I, I like how they keep trying and trying and trying and figuring out figuring out ways where they can be marketing strategies um over here in the uk there seems to be more PlayStation adverts than there seems to be Xbox. And I don't know if that's because of the Batman Arkham Knight with the exclusivity. But there's a lot of PlayStation, not much of Xbox, um, which is I find very weird. Um, I don't know if that's because of the European market, because of the Batman. Uh, but that is the case. We're seeing more PlayStation adverts than we are for Xbox. But anyways, next bit of news. Now, IGN this is probably one of the best podcasts i've ever listened and watched this podcast has all three boxes from all generations of xbox from the original xbox through the 360 and the xbox one now we have samius blackley if i say that correctly he's the founder of the original xbox who created it we also have Peter Moore, who was there during the 360 launch, helped that to develop, made it into a, such a fantastic console. And we also have the current head, Phil Spencer, who managed to change an entire console round in under 12 months. Now, both all of the Xbox heads just chat about what the future for Xbox, the present day for Xbox, and also the past. And and the stories and the secrets about what what xbox means how they managed to do xbox as a brand how they almost gave up about with xbox but then they came back again how they dealt with those red rings of death in the 360 and how phil spencer managed to change xbox completely around this is very fascinating for any xbox fan i really recommend you check out this podcast with ryan mccaffrey from ign it's absolutely fantastic they talk about everything whether it be from the original xbox controller how the original xbox was made and even why is the xbox green now if you ever wondered that make sure you check into the podcast so I think that pretty much covers it. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, make sure you stay with the channel to keep up to date with the, your latest Xbox gaming news. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.